All right, my hello, my friends. You guys might remember this. This lawnmower came in. It was given to me uh, by a neighbor, and he just said, "Try and fix it." So the first thing I did was I found the blade was upside down and it had the wrong adapter on, and the adapter had been sheared off. And this was the which one was it? Yeah, it was this one. The uh, nubs had been sheared off, and so did the pattern in the MTD blade type, right? So then, I uh, I got it running with not this one, because it was wrecked, but one of, one of these that's not wrecked. And I put the blade on, and my wife was saying when she was cutting the lawn that it was, it was scalping the lawn. And so what happens is, let's just put one of these adapters on here, right? There. show you something interesting. On this one, there isn't enough distance between the bottom of the uh, engine, or the bottom of the adapter blade, is only five-eighths of an inch there. And when, you, when you put a blade on there, it's, uh, it, it's almost flush with the side of the, with the, side of the lawnmower. I never really picked up on that, and then now I'm looking at it, and uh, I was wrong. So I've got a, a blade that sits deeper, it's a different style, and it, uh, to the face of the adapter, it sits 7 eighths, which is quite a bit. And then I use this blade, which goes with it, and I just sharpened it now. Not knife sharp, blunt sharp. And now you'll see that the blade is within is inside the uh, the deck. However you want to say it. So let's just pop this on for now. And I've got one more thing I want to check on this mower because it was a it was a two puller, eh? Don't worry, this is a very weak air gun. I get lots of comments on it. In fact, we'll get a wrench out. Five eighths, baby. for some reason. Eh? So that's just hard. Now, now you can see that it's inside about a centimeter from the edge of this lip here. Right there. So that's one problem solved. And the other problem was it hit something really really hard and I never did check the flywheel key on this one. I think I was in a hurry because I uh, pardon me, but I'm not a real lover of these power more engines. So let's just get a, uh, a ratchet out, 10 millimeter. Now everything's been sitting for three months, remember? Amazing. You with me? Yeah, you're here, you're watching. I'm going to just check the flywheel on this job. Because it was a, it took me two pulls to start it. And if you guys know me well enough by now, two pulls doesn't cut the mustard. Now, if the flywheel key is okay, I'll leave it. But, uh, what do we got here? I think this is a 19. Yeah, that's pretty good memory for being gone for uh, three months. Oh, let's just take the cover off. Memory's not that good. Ah. 
but we'll take it off anyway. Get an air tool. Oops. And a pry bar. Try that first. Break. It's all coming back little by little. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll make myself laugh sometime. Okay, we're still in the zone here. Perfect. Uh, boy, this stuff's made out of thin stuff. Okay, here we go. Am I going to have to put a puller on that? There's a thousand ways to do this. There we go. Good. Half inch wrench and a 5 8 socket. This will work. Get some heat. Huh. Well, that tells me that it's not coming off, right? Correcto. Huh. Okay. Okay, I guess I've got to go to plan B. I'm going to heat it. Heat. And a little bit of persuasion with some... Uh, Watching this crazy is. Bruce. There we go. Man, I'm going to 
need gloves to take that off. That's going to be so hot. Let's put it on the metal bench and cool quickly there. Well, we're going to have a look at the flywheel key. I bet you it's just off a tad. Okay, we need pokers and thingers. And are you still with me? Let's go have a look at that together. Well, it's all, it's lopsided. See, that's what happens is I get into the job. This is real, guys. This isn't fake YouTube. And I forget you guys are even there. I'm going to just tap that key out. If it even comes out. Yeah, it's, it's been damaged. I want this to be a one-pull setup. I don't like using the screwdriver for a chisel, but I'm going to. It's coming now. Oh, that's hard to do. Okay, I'm just need a pair of pliers now to get that out of there. Come with me. We'll pull that out together. Okay, let's just see if it's had any side torque put on it. Yes, a bit. Now, is this cool off? Almost, eh? Let's just have a look. At that. It looks like it's been shifted. If you look right in there, there's a scratch mark right where the, uh, right where the flywheel key is supposed to go. I wonder if I've got a spare one of those or if I should just sand that one up. Yes, it's had some side load put on it. That's the top. That's the bottom. Okay. Yes, it's got a, a chink right out of the side. Fine file down the slot. I'm going to turn it over and tap it in. We're just going to clean it up a little bit. That's fantastic! Okay, sorry guys, you missed that. I put 
I put the uh, top on. That's all I did. Was I, I uh, tightened this up, the fly, the flywheel nut, right there. Oh, hey, just a minute. Let's see it. With my uh, half inch uh, air gun. And now I'm just going to wipe off a couple of slots that I didn't get to because I couldn't get to. Alright. Then I have to go get some fuel. Recoil. You guys getting some of this? Yeah, it's a little crooked, but you're getting it. This is... So I didn't change a lot, but it just might run a little better now. Or there's a slip, a ge uh, the timing gear has slipped one cog inside the engine when it got that bent, eh? It takes a lot to destroy a blade adapter and a blade. Good. Now I'm just going to give a yank before we put fuel in it. See how it feels. How does it feel? Feels good. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, I'm gonna just put a little non-ethanol fuel in it here. I'm gonna use a funnel, I think. Well, even the smallest jobs use up all the tools you own, eh? Half a tank. Perfect. Now I'm just going to get a 10 millimeter wrench out and check the, that the carburetor's got gas in it. Right. do that. There was no gas in it to start. So now what I want, I know it's going to take two pulls to start where it is. But first I'm going to just sweep away a little bit of this crap. And this lawnmower was clean. But we did use it to pick up the leaves last fall. How many poles?
we've got to wait till tomorrow now to see how it really turns out. But I'll just pull it one more time, and if it goes, I'm, I actually think we got, with that flywheel key being tightly squished to one side, it's off a half a degree, eh? Well, hi guys. It's the next day. It's only 4 degrees Celsius in here. I want to see if this mower will start on one pole. It's so cold it might not. One. Nothing wrong with that. Um, these are auto choke as well, so they're they're not as as efficient to start as something with a primer. So that that mower is now done.